Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. This is Ruby Snack number 73, redirect after sign up with Devise, plus a little tip on testing. In this episode, you'll learn how to manage redirects after sign up with a registrations controller. Now, why a separate controller? You could put this code in the application controller, but that can start to be like a packed closet where you can't find anything. I have had projects where I decided, okay, I'm just gonna put all of that device redirect information in my application controller, and later I did regret it and moved it out into a registration or session controller because once you add one redirect, odds are that you will add others and better to keep those in separate controllers. The demonstration portion of this episode is from a live coding session. So I'm just gonna put some example code here that's also in the device wiki. So it's class registrations controller and then it inherits from the device registrations controller. And then you would need to be sure to include the registrations controller in the routes for that device user. Here is the resource I used while live coding. Looking back at it, I see that there's a note at the top that it doesn't work. Well, it worked fine for me, so give it a shot. And now here's the live coding with a special tip at the end. Let's make a uh, registrations controller. And it's going to inherit from device. Aha, so here we go. Copy this. Let's copy all that. So where we're going to go to, now notice how it doesn't have um, a redirect to. That's part of what we're inheriting from the device registrations controller. So we are going to go to the um, connect to Stripe path. Okay, so that's where we're gonna go. Um, And then there's another step. And we'll have tell the routes all about it. So device for vendors, controllers, registrations, right? So there's just a little bit in there that is going to be redone. So let's make sure. Okay, so it's gonna find the link, uh, except it's broken right now because it's not going anywhere. (laughs) So uh, this gets into adding OmniAuth. Let's just make sure that this works. Um, Okay, so it's not gonna have that that message, but that's where we're gonna end. But I just wanna make sure this link uh, is working. So it's kind of an in-between step you can do in your tests. Uh, You know that it's not going to the place eventually, but you wanna just make sure this piece is working because the next step is uh, involved. It involves uh, putting together OmniAuth, Um, And so I just wanted to make sure you got to that next step, and it did. Thank you for watching this episode of Ruby Thursday. If you are not already on my mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com. I do send out emails when I'm going to be live coding, so watch out for those. And if you are not already subscribed on YouTube, go ahead and click on that big red icon there. I do put up my live coding sessions on YouTube for a limited time, so you want to be sure to be notified when those go up. And of course, when more Ruby Snacks happen as well. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.